Hi, welcome to today's card lesson. In today's exercise, we will be modeling this shot. Very easy and simple. You can try under 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and begin with today's exercise. Before we go ahead and start, let's take a minute to study this and understand how we want to approach building this model. So we want to build half of this. So from this plane to this back face, and then we would mirror what we have created to get the opposite side. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start. You can come up here, select new, and choose on the part create 2D and 3D object, the standard MMIPT template under the metric, and we would create. We begin with a 2D sketch. And so let's select that option up here. We click on that, and then we are going to work on the XY plane. Now let's pick the circle to draw our first profile. We would bring that to the origin. Make sure you snap onto it. You know you are there when it turns green. So just click and then you drag. Using the dynamic input box, we want to specify the diameter of the circle as 55. We would enter that. Now you can go ahead and finish this sketch. You can click on the home button to get your work in focus up here. And then we would extrude. The distance of extrusion is going to be 10 mm but we want that extrusion to be symmetric. So the profile should lie in the middle of this extrusion. So under behavior direction, we'll change that to mid plane or symmetric. And then the distance is rightly selected, which is 10 mm. We won't change the body name. We can just okay. Now let's turn this around, hold down the shift and the scroll mouse button. We would select this face and create a sketch. Now let's pick the circle command a second time and draw a circle here from the origin. The diameter of this circle is 35, we would enter that. Let's also finish this and we can press E to extrude. The distance of extrusion, which can also change from here to 30. And the preview looks good and so we would OK. Now on this face again, we want to create another sketch. We'll pick the circle command a third time. This time, the diameter of the circle from the origin is 25. We would enter that. Let's finish this sketch and we can also extrude. This distance of extrusion now is going to be 50. And so we would enter that. Now, let me get the isometric view. This looks good. As mentioned earlier, we are going to mirror this. We have done so far on the opposite side. We would use the mirror command and to select that here under the pattern group. And then it's asking us to specify some details. The first one is the feature we want to mirror, which is going to be this entire feature. So we select it from the work tree, which will be the extrusion one. Hold down the shift key, you can select the extrusion three and it will automatically select the extrusion two or any other tab that is in between. Now the mirror plane or the plane we want it to go across is going to be, let's see, no, no. All right, it's going to be the XY plane. If you are not sure which plane to use, you can just click on each one of them until you find the right one. You can look at the preview for that assistance. And so we would, okay. All right, now let's go ahead and apply some fillets. And so the fillet command up here, there it is. The fillet radius is going to be 2mm, which is the default radius that is there. We would select this edge, also that edge, this edge as well, this edge, that one, and finally that. So in all, you should have six edges. It says that here. And now we can OK. We made a little mistake, let's correct it at this point. And so let's go back into the extrusion one. You can click on the plus sign if it's not opened. You don't even need to. So select this extrusion, you can right click on it and choose the option that says edit feature. Now this distance of extrusion, we want to change from 10 mm rather to 20 and okay. Now we see that correction has been made. So we can go on. Now we'll create the cutout on this face. So let's select this face and we would create a sketch. Now let's go ahead and pick the rectangle command, the one that says the two point rectangle and draw a rectangle across this face. 
this much is fine. We would dimension. And so the width of this is 35. We would enter that the height is 7.5. We would enter that as well. Now we would apply a distance between this point right here and that point also as 7.5. And then we want to also apply a vertical constraint between this point and the origin. Now you can go ahead and finish this sketch and we want to extrude. The profile has been selected, but we want to change the direction to the opposite direction. Automatically, you see it begins to cut for us. Now the distance of the cut is going to be 20 mm, which is correctly selected from the previous extrusion we just corrected. And so we would OK. Now we'll mirror this cutout on the opposite side. And so the mirror command, the feature we want to mirror is going to be this extrusion for the plane we want to mirror across. Let's select them and see. All right, it is the XZ plane. And so I would OK. Lastly, we will create the slot for the key. And so let's introduce a plane. Now we would offset a plane. So drop down the plane options under the work feature and choose the option that says offset from plane. We want to offset from open up the origins, the X, Z plane to a distance of 17.5. We can check that. Now let me get the front view so we see, no, let me rotate this around. The plane should sit right on top of this face. Okay. So now we'll select this plane and create our sketch. Let me pan up. We are going to drop down the rectangle options and choose the center to center slot. Now we can draw our slot here. And we would pick the dimension command. The length of this slot is going to be 15. We would enter that. Also, the radius of this slot is 4. Let's enter that as well. And then also the distance between this point and then this edge right here is five. We would enter that and apply a vertical constraint between the center of that slot. And let's use this point right here that fully constrains the sketch. So we would finish this and we can extrude. So the extrude command, we want to extrude cut. And the depth of that cut is six mm. The preview looks good and so we would OK. Now we don't need this plane anymore. So just click on it, right click, and you can turn off visibility. Let me get the isometric view and inspect what we've done. That is it. Let's change the appearance now. So under the default, we are going to choose any color of your choice, but I like this color a lot. It says horn. And I can also change the view and the visual style to realistic. That takes off the outlines, but I like to keep it at shaded with edges. You can also include some shadows and then even a reflection. You can also add a ground plane if you want. And then you can also give it some light effect so you can give it the photo booth effect or the two light effect any one you want i usually like to do the empty lab okay all right and so that's going to be it for today's tutorial i hope you find this helpful very easy and simple under 10 minutes you can try please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't yet done that and be part of my card family also do well to like this video. Let's help the YouTube algorithm push it out to a lot more people who need this. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section below and you know I do reply to my comments. Also, don't forget to share this with your card friends. Don't forget to save this work as well. I am going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.